So, I was trying to put my phone up here on this thing to vlog, and the whole thing just fell out. That is how hot it is. Like, woo! My car says it's 100 degrees, but I just got in it. But anyways, so, this is the final look. Like, it looks better out here in this natural lighting. So, hopefully, when I'm up in this woman's office, because I'm on my way to the interview, hopefully, when I'm up in her office, I don't be looking like a clown. Because, um... You never know which like, kind of lighting you gonna be in. But yeah, I just did a little light makeup look, so y'all gotta be on the lookout for that video. It's um kind of not very casual. I mean, not very. It's a very casual get ready with me. Kids was in it and all that, but you know, that's just how it's gonna be in the summertime when I have to vlog and stuff. The kids is gonna be in the videos. Hopefully, y'all don't mind. I don't think y'all do. Um, but uh. I don't know. They daddy don't really care for it, but I mean, he does a lot of stuff I don't care about either. It is what it is. Um, I mean, but I don't know. It's like I just feel like like I don't be putting him out there like on blast. I don't know. Well, I don't even want to talk about that, but yeah, I'm on my way to this interview, and it is so hot, and I hope that I'm dressed appropriately. She asked me to bring my driver's license, my diploma, and social security card. And then she also asked me to bring something meaningful. So I hope that the item I brought is a good item. Like I hope it, shoot, where is my, think I meant to bring my resume with me. You think I have a copy of my resume on my phone? Oh, I meant to bring it with me in case I, um, Case I got there and they'd be like, oh, you need to fill out an application. You know, sometimes you place and they're like, can you fill out an application? And to be honest, I'd be like, I want to be like, uh, no, I just did a whole resume. I don't want to fill out an application. I'm lazy. Anyway, so she asked me to bring something meaningful and I brought this. I know y'all thinking a dang container of wipes. It's not a container of wipes. I mean, it used to be a container of wipes. It used to be a container of brainless wipes. But um, after the container was empty, I filled it up with some some stuff from uh, from when Braylon was a baby. Aww. And now, I wish I would have did this with all my chillings, but I didn't. And I guess it's not too late, but I don't have, I don't really have anything like from when they were baby babies. Like, I don't have no binkies from from Donovan when he was a baby or Kingston. Vivica didn't take a binky. Um, I do have some clothes from when they were babies. So I guess that's that I guess that's what it'll be like when I I'm gonna have a poop made from their from their baby clothes and most of the clothes are the twins clothes and Donovan's clothes. I have a few pieces that belong to Braylon. Um well I guess technically some of the pieces belong to Braylon too because some of them are hand me downs but anyways. So I'm gonna get off of here so I can turn on my GPS and find out where I'm going. I know the area that I'm going to, but once I get there, I don't know exactly where it's at. So, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Mwah. So, just... I came up on a red light. Oh, no. It's green now, so I can't show you. <laughs> Alright. Alright, y'all. I heard jamming. So, I just left this interview. I, I can't even tell y'all if I think it went good or if I think it went bad or nothing like that because... The director wasn't even there. She had to leave early or something. And she didn't. Um, so I, I interviewed with the assistant director. Um, which I guess was fine. But um, yeah, which was fine. But she was like, um, the director will call me on like Monday or Tuesday to do like a phone interview. I'm like, okay. Man, I don't live around the corner. I don't know. Just, I don't know. Just kind of was like, okay. But, um, we'll see. Um, so, yeah, I can't really tell you how I feel about it because I don't even know. It was kind of hard to really beat it because I wasn't, like, the assistant director not my final decision. So, I mean, I guess she does have, uh, probably influence or something. So, yeah, she said she liked a lot of my answers. And she said, "Oh yes, I like that. Oh, that's a good answer. I like that." So we'll see. Um, so now I'm just headed back home, and the 
kids are going to be leaving in a little few hours. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be driving them, if I'm going to be dropping them off, or if their dad's going to pick them up. But I guess we'll find that out here in a minute. Because normally I drop them off on Friday, but my interview was out in an area like where he actually lives. But I had nobody out here that could watch them like while I do my interview. So I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to drive all the way out there for my interview, drive all the way back home, and then drive all the way back out there to drop them off. So I was asking him if he could just pick them up. Um, but if he doesn't, whatever, I'll stick to what I'm supposed to do. I'll drop them off, and then he drops them off back to me on Monday morning. But, um, what you think about my eyebrows? I think I did an all right job. You know, the things is fading away because as I get older, they get lighter. But, um, you got me here listening to the dark child, honey. He's jamming. Oh, I don't hear y'all listening. This is my favorite song right here, though. One of my favorite songs on this album. Let's go 